to make this quick because um, I, I just don't care to be sitting here and messing with a camera in front of me. I'm going to film this today, but I'm out here to have a little bit of fun. We're in the middle of the Pompano Run. Everything is packing up shop in Florida and making its way down to Mexico. We're going to be meeting them there later, but right now they're all passing through Texas. So we're going to get some lines out and pick up every single little piece of fish that we can get to put into the freezer before everybody goes away for the winter. Right now it's a pompano. And uh, there's some sharks and stuff chasing out there. I'm ready to put some in the freezer. I told Rachel we're having fish for dinner tonight. So that's the name of the game. We have some other fun surprises coming up in just a bit. We're gonna get some fishing and then we're going to address something that we uh, talked about in a live stream about a month ago. Fishing comes first. Here we go, I'm pulling up on Rich right now. Not even waiting for him, he doesn't care. He's been out here for like two hours. Alright, so what's the word? Holy crap, <laughs> they tore the shit out of that. Oh man. Pompano on this one. And I'll put another pompano up there and this big son of a gun come up and ripped it right off. Alright, alright. That's what it's about. I can't even get my rigs together and he's already got one in. There we go. What are you doing, little guy? Would you like some shrimp? Shrimp? No? Yeah, there you go. interesting way to start it but I'll take it these croaker are pretty good eating not the target but it's definitely meat in the box this entire time I'm fighting this guy this fish I'm not catching that is a critical mistake the key is to always have a bait in the water That is the goofiest damn thing I have ever seen. Holy. I don't even know what species that is. I like those puffers, but I don't know what kind. Hey, you know what? Uh, so in Florida, they eat the little guys. I, I want to know what these taste like. Let's find out. Let's find out. I want to cook that up. We're gonna find out. That is interesting. I have never eaten that fish before. I'm curious to see how they are. The stomach out. Yeah. It's got their scales on it. Like <laughs> that is crazy. I've never seen one of those. Yeah, they were tearing it up. They drove off all of the, the good fish. Well, I bet you know, like in in Japan, there's a species of those that's like super expensive when they serve it. Well, maybe these would be too. They already are. I've got enough invested. Yes, I have, right? <laughs> One of the things that I just, I, I absolutely love about living down here, you never know what you get your hands on. You never know what you're going to see when you come out here. It's always an adventure. Can't believe, I've never, snorkeling, spearfish, I've never seen that thing before. It's just a species of puffer fish. We're going to find out. I'm sure they're edible. Uh, we got to find out if it's one of those that you got to be careful about because of the the poisonous liver or whatever the issue is. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. I need to research it before I go spouting off about it. Get them all puffed up over there. Look at them. <laughs> well, Rich was unfortunate enough to get nicked by one of those guys. Look at that bite. All they do is sit there and eat barnacles, man. You gotta keep those fingers away. Okay. It's showing off now. I'm pulling up 
one little whiting. And this is what he delivers. I'm not, yeah, I'm not upset about that. That's, that's, uh, nobody's going to turn that down. He didn't even put up a fight yet. Go get big. Another little whiting for the bucks. Sorry, I zoomed in there, didn't I? Well, we're having to work for our food. But we are putting food on the table. It's been a little while since we've done a bunch of whiting. I'm kind of enjoying this. We haven't done this like all summer long. I don't know why. We used to do it like all the time this year though. I don't know, but this looks like the catch of the day. It might be a shark. He's not really running like a shark, though. It could be a ray. See him now. You got where is it? I don't see him. Oh, I see him. Okay, okay. You do. You got a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's a shark. That's dinner, man. Huh? You got the little bastards that are robbing you. Look at where he's wrapped up in that thing. Yeah. He got himself all tangled. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It's a black tip shark. Well, I think it's it's like of been course. My they have been catching pompano and they've been running. It came up about like four foot and took my pompano. Yeah, they've been eating all his rigs this morning, so this is revenge. <laughs> That's a good eating size. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This will eat though. Yeah, it will. That'll eat up good. You really like that crab, huh? I got more. I'll give you some crab. I got shrimp too if you'd like some. But now I'll let you pick apart that shell. But before you go, let me know. Go ahead, you just take that away. <laughs> Just take that home. Take that home to Mama. She'll be proud. All right. It's getting just a little bit later in the day, and I keep getting cut off. I'm not, like, showing it because I'm reeling in lines to check the bait, and there's just nothing there. So I'm not, like, filming while there's nothing there. Uh, but they keep just destroying these pompano rigs. And what's happening is I'm hooking in a little pompano, and the sharks are coming in, taking those pompano, and just shredding those rigs. They've done it to us a half dozen times now. This is my last cast, and I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it gear up for a shark here. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to try to hook into one of those little bitty sharks. 
just to get a good fight out of it. And then we have a uh, fun little thing that I was talking about earlier. We're gonna get to that. It's a thing, it's a whole thing. Just, just hang around. We're gonna do that as soon as we're done fishing here. We gotta get dinner first, first and foremost. Dinner for the girls. An ode to Rachel. We're doing the old Rachel turducken. I got a mullet inside of a squid. <laughs> and I carefully put him up in there and I butterflied him so that he's going to be hydrodynamically accurate, whatever the case, I don't know. Uh, that's a big, nice bait for these sharks that are out there. I got the wire leader set up. If there are sharks around, I'm going to get it with the old Rachel turducken. So, last cast, let's see what we can make happen with it. Okay, so that last cast yielded absolutely nothing. But oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. I didn't want to sit there and mess with it anymore because, like I keep alluding to this entire video, we have a fun little thing to do. So let me explain. My father-in-law, Rich, Rachel's dad, uh, he just moved out to the island uh, about two weeks ago. They're still moving stuff in, and you know, it's been a whole deal. But he doesn't really have the equipment that, uh, you know, is what he needs for the amount of fishing that he's going to be doing now that he's living out here. In a recent live stream, we were talking about that, and a lot of people uh, kind of stepped up with the Super Chats and made some very generous donations in order to get Rich the rod and reel setup that he really needs. That's everybody right here that I'm showing on the screen. I, I can't remember names. I don't have like a, a list in front of me and I don't want to miss anybody. So I'm gonna list everybody's names on there. But guys, thank you so much. That was such a generous thing that you did. And well, we're gonna go get that rod and reel right now. All right, Rich, what are we getting? There he is. I would think with the pens over here, that's what we need to be looking at. This guy right here, that guy is the one that I like. That's the one that I use for most of the big stuff that I do. Bigger stuff in the surf. Hey, I'm just here. I, I have no input here. I'm relying totally on... I mean, that's awesome. I agree. Yeah, the price tag's not on there. You're just gonna have to. Huh? Price tag's not on it. Already looked. <laughs> oh god, that's smooth. Hardly touch that something. Yeah. I'm used to cranking up like a grinder. <laughs> I'm used to coffee grinding. You know, grinding after about three months and replacing all the guts on them. Okay, so we had to cut out the part where I spent 30 minutes trying to figure out the, the correct knot for trying to screw up an FG a thousand times. Thanks to Zach over here at uh, West Marine for his patience with me. We finally got it going. Rich got his rod, guys. I can't tell you enough. Thank you enough. But I'm going to put it to good use and I'm going to send you a video with the first one I bag. That's right. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video. It'll be about all about him getting some, uh, getting a big red or something. We're gonna hook him into something good. Thank you guys, appreciate it. The live stream is looking forward to Rich doing a lot of fishing out here. But he does now. They bought him a rod and reel. He's got some stuff. They're sending him a pen battle. <laughs> so they bought you a pen battle. Oh bullshit! Yeah, yeah. You you've got one. They they donated. Everybody like pitched in and got you. you have got to be shit. A good rod. 